to the shops again. Just been to the uh, Aldi, where it were a uh, longer queue than normal, but quite empty inside really. Hardly anyone there. I'm buying far too much shopping. Uh, it's too much shopping. We're eating too much and drinking too much. I think uh, there's a lot of people protesting about this corona lockdown thing. Personally, I don't believe that it is false. I think corona is a thing and uh, it's not all nonsense but I do think it is kind of it's worrying because flu <laughs> flu is about the same uh, strength as this and it kills as many people Week seven, I think, for me. Week six for the Jeanette. Could be week eight for me, actually. And week seven for Jeanette. I'll go and I'll check that up. I'll check that up and uh, you'll see the answer below if I use this bit of the footage. And uh, it is getting to me a little bit, I must admit. I'm incoherent when I'm speaking on this here uh, telephone thing. I'm saying that we're going to be in lockdown by uh, Christmas. Well, hopefully by Christmas we'll be out of it. There's that tree that had all blossom on a few weeks ago. All, uh, no blossom now. Not even the buds, they've all blown away. A few blossom strands on the floor. Don't really get approached. So if we stay at this side. They stay at that side and we should be alright. Anyway, in Hyde Park today there's people in Hyde Park that were uh, protesting that lockdown shouldn't be happening, it's all a fraud, uh, all at Speaker's Corner, They're giving it a real hard time of people, you know. Uh, police say they've arrested six people for not complying. I don't know exactly what they're complaining to, but I'm sure that uh, they're not going to die of corona, are they? Uh, well, like I say, I don't know whether it's true or false or indifferent or it's going to be like this until Christmas. I just don't know. Trifle, apparently. I got to a shop, walk around shops, eat trifle. And I, I shouldn't eat trifle really, I'm a diabetic. I'll get some small trifles or some, some sort of trifle. Uh, like that's gonna. <laughs> gonna be in there. Anyway, I get this trifle, if there's any, somewhat similar. I mean, if we don't get it now, we'll get it. Uh, Thursday. Jeanette's car's going in for MLT on Wednesday, so we can't go shopping on Wednesday. 
few weeks back just by that bus shelter over there in the far distance and if you can see it on the camera here an uh, ambulance hit that uh, ballard and the police were following it and stopped me and uh, asked me if we were filming it and I, actually I was walking up the hill and facing, <laughs> facing totally the wrong direction with a camera in my hand I'm not much of a bloody journalist, am I? So, uh, hang on, what's these little kids gonna do? They're gonna go that way. I'll wait here for They're going up the steps, so I can come down here. Cheers up. And there's a lot more people out today, which is good. A lot more traffic, as you can hear. A bit of a breeze blowing, as you know, that will pick up on the microphones. Yeah, yeah. People think I'm loony talking to the phone, but the hell. I'm gonna go into the get a trifle. I was walking around the shop the other day and I stopped looking for cornflakes. And a bicyclist she says to me, Excuse me, do you mind? I went, no, not at all. I didn't actually mind. What do I mind about co-op? I'm on my way back now, I've got the lottery tickets. Winning lottery tickets, by the way. So you can tell by this tone I'm speaking that I've got the winning lottery tickets tonight. Right, and uh, uh, we're going to buy an island uh, with all the winnings somewhere where there's no coronas. Trifle. Hey, I blame Kim. King Hopkins of Labour of Love said, What do you think? of the Eaton Rifles and I thought, well, is it the jam song? All the people in charge? Or... Uh, you know... Uncle Bonzo Boris. What does she mean? Uh, the Eating rifles jam, which put me onto trifles because I'm eating trifles. And then I said to Jeanette, Oh, that's a good idea, shall we get a trifle? Eating trifles. And she said, Here, yeah, why not? So I blame Kim Hopkins for making me buy a trifle. Not bad price actually, two quid for a trifle. A trifle in price. Oh, oh. Very cool. Oh good, we're running out of battery. If there's anything else to say, I will say it. But later.